Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a is a real number, then the absolute value of a is equal to the absolute value of negative a. Now, we're going to take the definition of absolute value of a number to be the following. So now, let's get into proving the theorem. And to start out our proof, let's give ourselves an arbitrary real number a. And our whole goal is to prove that the absolute value of a is equal to the absolute value of negative a. And to do that, we consider three cases. Either a is equal to zero, a is greater than zero, or a is less than zero. And so what we're going to do is we're going to show in all three cases, we have that the absolute value of a is equal to the absolute value of negative a. Let's start with case one where a is equal to zero. Now, in the case where a is equal to zero, the negative a is also equal to zero. And now, applying the definition of absolute value, since a is equal to zero, the absolute value of a is equal to zero. And similarly, since the negative a is equal to zero, the absolute value of negative a is equal to zero. So the absolute value of a is equal to the absolute value of negative a. So this completes the case where a is equal to zero. Now let's move on to the case where a is greater than zero. Now, since a is greater than zero, we know that the negative a is less than zero. And now let's apply the definition of absolute value. Since a is greater than zero, by definition of absolute value, the absolute value of a is equal to a. But a is equal to the negative of the negative of a. And since the negative a is less than zero, when we apply the definition of absolute value to the negative a, well, since the negative a is less than zero, we put a minus sign in front of it. So the absolute value of negative a is equal to the negative of negative a. So we see that the absolute value of a is equal to the absolute value of negative a. So this completes the case where a is greater than zero. Now let's move on to the final case where a is less than zero. Now in the case where a is less than zero, the negative a is greater than zero. Now let's apply the definition of absolute value. Since a is less than zero, by definition of absolute value, the absolute value of a is equal to the negative of a. And since the negative a is greater than zero, the absolute value of negative a is equal to negative a. So we see that the absolute value of a is equal to the absolute value of negative a. So this completes the case where a is less than zero. So putting this all together, no matter which one of these happens to be true, we have that the absolute value of a is equal to the absolute value of negative a. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.